What up, world? It's your boy, Mark Walter Ward, Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network. We got another Throwback Thursday edition. Um, in light of Glasses Malone releasing a, a reworked version of, of his classic 2012 Glass House, which you can check out the, the re reworked version with, I mean, just all kinds of new features, new songs on all digital streaming platforms. Uh, when it came out, it caused me to listen to, uh, well, go back and re-listen to, which I, I'm not going to fake, bro. I, I, I didn't give it. I hadn't listened to it enough. It kind of slipped my attention a little bit between the uh, mixtape and streaming era. But the Glass House 2, Life Ain't Nothing But, dot, 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 from 2015. Um, so we got Glasses Malone with us. What's up, fam? And it's A1, man. Watch up with Chilling, chilling, chilling. So when, when, when this album came out, where was your life and career at? <sighs> my career was in the drains to me. Um, my, my, my inspiration was starting to peak. You know what I'm saying? Like I was, at that point I started to figure out records. Um, I was really deep into hip hop, just about to get into marketing. And I knew enough about records and hip hop to tell a story. Like naturally I'm a storyteller. But at that point I knew enough about records and hip hop to be able to tell a story sonically. And that was gotcha. the first time I was able to do it and do a good job of it. So creatively, artistically, I was like, starting to go to a level where I was ascending further than I had ever been. Career-wise, I was in a bad place because I had just left all these labels and um, had to pay for it and knew enough about marketing, but didn't have anywhere near, you know, three, four, five hundred thousand to market a project and just really believed that the music was going to be good enough to do it itself. So it was a really weird place to be in. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to skip the order of the questions because or, or the talking points. Because, uh, you, you, know, you know, it's funny, you say that you was in a bad place and with the labels and everything, and, you know, price tag, which, you know, was kind of like your, your version of murder was the case, but the, 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 part that you, the part that you were talking about, what was going on before the, uh, you got the phone call from the entity who, who you know, granted you success and everything, yeah. I, I thought that was like some really raw, honest, you, you know, a lot of people, when they had albums that didn't live up to expectations, they make excuses, they run for, from it. But like, 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 like you, you, you took ownership of that shit. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't. So what's funny is when I made that song, like me and Mac had stopped talking. He was so mad. Like he wasn't mad, but I think he was bothered because the idea of that song placed blame on other people. And it's like the real version of me. And even in that song, it's not about that. It's just easier to, to blame somebody else. But the reality was, I didn't take that as you place and blame at all. No, 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 it wasn't. But I think he kind of felt that, like, because it was talking about, like, damn, I want to kill everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, the gotcha, idea. Gotcha, of gotcha. Not necessarily, because it's not. It, and I keep it a buck, man. You got to know how to make records signed to a record company. And that's, I didn't know shit about making records. It ain't nobody else's responsibility but yours to make your records. Or So that's the reality. But I love that project and that particular song because of that. You know what I'm saying? It was different emotions and different thoughts. Like, damn, what I sell my soul? If Satan came right now, it was like, yo, you want to win so bad, let me buy your soul. And I just wrote an idea, a song based off the idea. And really, to me, how it would have played out if it was me. You know what I'm saying? It, if I tried to sell my soul, man, God got so much weight on my soul, for sure I'd have died fast. I'd have died within the first year. So it's, it's one of those things where you know, I was already naturally a good storyteller. That's my natural ability, and I'm creative. But to sonically be able to put that where it needed to be at, you know what I mean? And for Snoop to hear that and be like, yo, that shit's fire. Like, you did that. So that was right. dope. Yeah, that's what's up. Well, shit, congratulations on that. That's a, that, 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 that means more than a Grammy in a way. You know what I mean? Man, let me tell you something, man. When them, and I used to be on them so tough about it, I always would tell them, like, yo, if you impressed, just tell the artist. Yeah, I agree. You never do nothing else. Just, you know what I mean? Like, if I hear a dope song, it's a little nigga that's killing shit with this song called Outside. His name is Lil Deuce from Inglewood. And Lil Deuce, I make sure I let him know I love his song. If a nigga drop a song that's hard, I'm going to hit him and tell him, hey, this song is fire. Hear me? Hey, so, hey respect for that ad too, man. Because you know what? I, I, I've i always I've always said, I'll probably say it too much, but... uh. You know, good musicians like good music. And, 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 you know, sometimes you can tell who's in it. Like anybody who's in it for the dough, you know, that's what you should be there for. Generational wealth, of course. 
but you can tell who's in it for the love of the music versus who's in it for the clout. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, man, and that, that, that's a little indicator right there. But now nah, go ahead. Yeah, that album to DJ Quick, he thought it was great. That was incredible. Dre thought it was dope. Ty Dolla Sign, that was one of the most important things because I feel like Ty Dolla Sign was somebody trying to help me adapt and learn more about records. So when he hit me and texted me, he's like, yo, this motherfucker fired. And, you know, that was so important to me. You know talking, what I'm ba- talking back about price tag? No, just that whole project. Okay. Yeah, that whole it, it was. Cool price tag. And again, to be able to finally tell a story sonically, it made me feel like I belong at that point. Yeah. I mean, sonically, and, and I mean, it's in a good way because as well, sequence, you were all over the map. Because, like, for instance, you got the Knock It Out song, which the, the, that video looked fun as shit. But, yeah. uh, I mean, it, that, that, it, that, I felt that, that that really proved, you know, how strong your delivery is no matter what kind of beat and what kind of ear you have for, for beats. Because, you know, I, 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 what, was I tripping or did I catch a little bit of Tears for Fears in there? A little bit. I, Funny you caught that, though. <laughs> and then, uh, I, man, I mean, you, 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 you did your thing like a motherfucker, but man, that BOV verse stood out like, 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 like a champ. Right. Like, 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 everybody you, you asked to, me. Oh, go ahead. Somebody did an interview and asked me, like, yo, you think you ever been served on a song? And I was like, it's two times I think I was served on a song, where I think I was served on a song. Haters, Lil Wayne, he rapped probably about 24 bars. They was just crazy. And I remember thinking to myself, like, oh, this is what it feel like to get ate up on a song with Lil Wayne. So that's haters. And that verse on Knock It Out with Bob, when Bob came through with that shit and rapped that shit, I wasn't going to change my verse at all, but it was one of the first times I wanted to. But I, I can dig it. It was like, that's how good Bob, Bob is such a great, B.O.B. is such a great rapper, man. Like, but I mean, I, I don't think he would have had a, a, a pocket to do that on that song if you hadn't already created the, the sonic bed from, I don't know if you produced the beat or selected yeah, the beat or, or, or me however. And boys, yeah, me and my boy Sega made it. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? So like, you kind of gave him the pocket to do that. So I, I understand what you mean. And that's certainly more of a factor on like posse cuts and things like that. But, but, but in a way... He almost filled a, a, a empty space more as a musical instrument, even than, than a rapper on that, you know? Yeah, man. And he was so fucking fire, cuz. That verse was so fire, cuz. I remember thinking, like, fucking Bob served me, cuz. This nigga made this pop song. This nigga really could rap. So that's funny you said that. I, th- I, th- I thought the same thing with Bob. On the um, thugging song with Kendrick Lamar, th- th- do you think that people caught the social commentary aspect of your verse? Not at all. Because that, that song was always originally made for Scarface. Ah. Uh, Scarface on that song. Because, like, bro, like, I, some of the shit you were saying, you was kind of making, like, I'm not going to say political statements, because political yeah. means, like, you know, like, Republican, Democrat Policy. bullshit. But I'm, but I'm talking about, like, real life, what's going on. Yeah. And, and, but, 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 like, on, on, like, three different levels at once. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. like I don't know if you ever read Decoded by Jay-Z. But, like, you know how, like, you listen to a Jay-Z song and, like, the 50th time you heard it, you catch something new? And then yeah. if you ever read the code, it, you'll find out that it also had, like, a third meaning. And, yeah. and I thought you really, you know, hit that, hit that place on that song. And I'm wondering if people re- really caught it. No, I think no. that, like, maybe a surface listener might even uh, interpret that as, as some level of glamorization. Yeah, they didn't. They, they never understood it, but it's okay. It's one of those things that, Brilliance helps you get identified immediately. Genius will be identified in the future. So whatever you want to find over when you hear that song now, 30 years later, you hear that song, it all makes sense to you. And I got time. Hey, that might be one that, you know, you know, I'll spread the gospel of it, you know, others and others. And, and, and you'll be like 70 and all of a sudden it'll be like one of your 20 most requested songs, you know? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, on, on, on give it up, you said you said that's that's your life when you're driving something foreign. Porn bit, bitches turn to squares, square bitches making porn. Um, well, you know, I, I've had my share of experiences in this world and uh, did time. That line is so funky, cuz it, 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 it was, but I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I, I I ain't really had too much experience driving something foreign. Definitely not with no porn bitches. So, like, could you elaborate a little bit on that? Because that's something I don't understand. Like, what about that situation turns into squares? 
Like I totally get why the square bitches start making porns. But uh so, so what it was was at that time, right? You you for years I've been driving these exotic cars, Bentley's, jumping out of Porsches, Max shit, jumping out of shit that's worth G Wagons, top not shit. And it, it brings the weirdest shit out of women. Like you could meet a woman who like I at that time I met a woman that was a porn star that wanted me to marry her. It's like she wanted to turn into a square life. I had a woman that wanted to marry me and have kids. Oh, I get, oh, so not that they don't want oh oh they want to settle down. Got you, man, man, man. Like 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 the motherfucking airplanes at the Super Bowl. That shit went right over my motherfucking head. Yeah. So that's life when you drive with some porn. Porn bitches turn to square. Square bitches making porn. So you have like the. The, the, the freakiest women in the world who made pornos, like, yo, I want to marry you and have your child. Like, fuck all this I'm doing. Like, this is what I want to do with got, you. Got you. Like, 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 let's say it's a Lambo. The Lambo make, uh, you know, Jada XXX whipped cream booty. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. oh, man, I want I want, I want, I want to live like this for 40 years. I need like to get my life together. Years. Yeah, okay, I, I got get my you. Life together. Like, what's up? And then you would have these girls who are like, feel me? I'm meeting girls who, like, worked at libraries and and like nurses and shit, like trying to suck my dick on my camera phone. And, and they like, because like, like, I'll, I'll never have a chance to do it. that in a Lamborghini again. Yeah, let me hold this camera. You feel me? Like, let me hold this. Like, it was a bra, like, I knocked down for me on the streets. She was a good woman, and I knocked her down on the street, racing streets outside against the car, and she was holding her phone. This lady is square, feel me? It's, this life when you drive some form, porn bitches turn to square, square bitches making porn. Hey, you bucket listed her, bro. That's what's up. And then, um, you, you know, finally, the uh, reason I'm, I, uh, well, I'm wanting to know is, um, I, I, out of curiosity, in my opinion, you've released so many classes, classics. Well, why, why make a sequel to this one as opposed to, like, let's say, like, uh, Fuck Glasses Malone, for instance? Um, just where I was at in my life, like, I, I had to, um, so right after the first glass house in 2012, I was in a real down place because I felt so ignorant, right? When I was working on it. And like, I just felt like it was over. Like, damn, like, okay, I, I rolled this shit out for six, seven years. It's coming to an end. And then my DJ head, you know, head showed me how to, uh, he started teaching me about BPMs and records. And it started this journey of learning records and learning about samples and the break and how you know we use genres of music depending on where you at around the rest of the country. Then I start getting into hip hop. So my attitude start like my ego and my attitude started to rise. I started feeling more confident. And the thing about Glasshouse, it was always about ego and confidence. It was always bravado. So it was like, okay, I'm still on this shit right now, and I feel confident. Let's go. Beach Cruiser was always my heart. You know what I mean. Glass House is always my ego. White Lightning is always my soul. You know what I'm saying? That was always right. those concepts. I, I got Fuck Glasses I, I feel, Malone. I, I feel that though. I feel that. Yeah. Fuck Glasses Malone was made at a time where I made it for New York, which is why I had Cameron on there. Like I'm re reimagining that right now, getting it ready to come out, you know, after I dropped this next project. But reimagine it. Well, I mean, since you brought that up, bro, that was a super flex. Yeah, yeah, right. So I had Cam on there. I had Red because he had, he had had a little hiatus for a minute. Yeah, you know and that was I mean? like his reemergence. But New York was showing me so much love at that time when a lot of the legends from here was rejecting me, and I was like, "Shit, that was kind of they thing." Like, yeah, I'm gonna make y'all some shit since this how y'all feel. Fuck y'all too. And I want to make something for New York, so to be able to reimagine that and deliver that is different. So I don't think there'll ever be a fuck glasses Malone. Too. I'm gonna try, but I don't have the motivation as all of those legends that wasn't fucking with me at that time at home. Like, now most of the legends fuck with me. But you never know. Hey, you, you know, that, 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 that's so funny because uh, that, that says a lot about human nature and, and, and how we mature as we grow not to play armchair psychologists. Because yeah. back when you said you was a, a little less confident, you, you, you seem much more aggressive and brash. And uh, yeah. n n now that you're more confident, you seem calmer. And, uh, you, you, you know, like, like, I don't know how this could come out sounding, but... Uh, in a way, like the calmer glasses, Malone seem a little more dangerous. Way more dangerous. Like the levels of danger, cause is uncharted. Like it's like I got a project that's like rivaling NWA shit. 
I mean, straight out of Compton. So it's, it's not even close. And that's true. But that's like even when you come up in this gangster culture, like more of the bravado is fear and ego, you know, uh, soul possession, reputation. So you overprotectful. So you over you overprotective and you overdo everything. But as you get more certain and confident in what you could do, you don't have to have that wall up no more. And now I'm at a place where that wall don't got to be up. I don't got to be a great. I don't got to say nothing. When I drop, you know what's up. It's going to happen to you. Word. That, 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 that's the best place to leave us. So that's another throwback Thursday. Uh, Last House 2, the sequel, Life, Life Ain't but, Nothing But, dot, dot, dot. That's on all digital it's streaming providers. Money. Yeah. Yep. That's yes, sir. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and, and, and make sure y'all check out the uh, reworked Glass House, a prequel. Uh, just came out on all digital streaming providers. Thank you for your time, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you.